Hey, what's up? It's the DIY Enthusiast, and today we are doing an unboxing and review of the new Power Excel self-cleaning juicer. It says juicing made simple. It says the juicer that practically cleans itself. So I have questions. My question is, well, my first question is, is it going to be juicing made simple? My next question, is this juicer going to really practically clean itself? And of course, we all want to know what is going to be the total yield of juice that we're going to get from this self-proclaimed great juicer. So let's find out. Okay, so I got the juicer, are all the parts clean and dried, and let's see what we can do. Now, what I don't like is that this juicer did not come with like a dispensing cup. So that kind of bothers me because now I gotta find my own cup to dispense the juice into. But that shouldn't be too difficult. It comes with this little spout. And it looks like the spout comes off, so that's great. I'm gonna put that on there. And this is what the rings are for that came with it. I guess they go right here. So I did send two replacement rings. I guess I'll need those at some point. Um, this won't go up very far, and it seems like it got stuck, so I'm just going to leave it there, and I'm going to find a cup now. Okay, so I got this jar because it's clear and it's kind of tall. That way you can see what's going in. It doesn't fit perfectly, but hopefully it doesn't like do this or anything. I don't know. Do y'all think this is smart? Hmm, it's smart enough. So we're going to do that. And now I have some carrots that I'm going to juice. Because carrots are like so tricky to juice. So I want to see how much juice we're going to get out of some carrots. And you know what? Actually, it might be better if I use something like this. So, so let's see. Okay, so I'm actually going to use this. It seems like a little bit safer because I don't want this to like spill everywhere. Okay, so... to make juice all right so i have my carrots i've been soaking them in like water and vinegar and whatnot so they can get clean and everything i scrub them a bit so yes i broke them i didn't cut them i broke them y'all okay so let me turn this on and it has a little button here that says for juicing i'll show that to you right here so i guess i'm gonna press this that way to turn it on let's see here it goes Huh. I don't know, nothing's happening. Um, do I set it up right? Let me. Maybe I didn't set it up right because it definitely didn't come on. Um, I have this on. I put this on here. And I can hold it up like. Okay, maybe now. Oh, okay. Wow. Wow. turn it off to say this to be honest this thing is wide enough that you don't even have to break your fruit down so let's see you actually can fit like a whole carrot or a whole apple even inside there so that's pretty awesome I'm gonna try it too okay so look how much juice that we've gotten so far out of what two and a half carrots 
Um, let me put something right here. Catch the drips. Okay. So we've gotten about... Oh, y'all, this measuring cup doesn't even have the lines on it anymore. But we've gotten about this much. <laughs> That's pretty good. And it's not too thick. I probably still will strain it. Get the pulp out. If there's any pulp. I don't know. It's just juice, so. But I probably might still strain it, and we'll see how that looks. So let's finish juicing. This is a four cup measuring cup and it's nearly full. So I would say this is what, like three cups of carrot juice. And now I'm going to add a little apple in for a little razzle dazzle and then we'll check out the pulp. strain it but I'm, I'll strain it you know I'll strain it later yeah because it's a little bit thicker than I would want it to be I think it's all the froth wow guys look at that but it does have all this like yeah there's pulp in there so I'm definitely going to strain this it's a little pulpy for me but nothing the strainer can't handle so we got our juice, a nice, nice jar of juice there. And now we're gonna look at the pulp. First, I'm gonna unplug it. So I'm gonna pull this down. And then I'm gonna take this off. And we're gonna examine. So the pulp. It's a little wetter than I would like. I'm not going to run it back through because that could get messy. Um, it's a lot. It filled up this whole bin. So I imagine if I was juicing more than what I just did, I would have to empty this. It's pretty all right, though. And I actually might save this pulp because I can make something with it, like some crackers or something. So I'm going to put this to the side now, and then we're going to see how this self-cleaning action really works. And here is the pulp. It's so much. Like, do y'all see this? So much pulp. Okay, so for the self-cleaning action, it says 
place an empty cup underneath the spout, turn on the juice, turn the juicer on, pour water into the juicer while pressing the cleaning button a few times. Remove the cup and you are ready to juice again. So let's try it. Uh, where am I get a cup from? Let's see. I wonder what size cup do I need? Hmm. I didn't say, so I'm going to use a bowl. Okay, no, I should use a cup. No, I don't know. I'll just, I'm going to use this bowl. Okay. And it didn't say whether to use hot water, cold water. It just said water, so I'm going to use some hot water. I like hot water. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna, oh, did it say pour in while the machine is on? It says pour water into the juicer while pressing the clean button. So I guess I should plug it back in. That makes sense. Girl, this might get tricky, okay? <laughs> this doesn't have a spout. Let's see. Man, I don't know. This is crazy. Okay, so am I recording? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, um. Okay, uh, let's see if it's clean. Obviously, this top part up here is not clean. I'm going to have to clean that myself. So they mean practically clean itself, for real. Y'all, let me just say, I'm not impressed, okay, honey? Because I'm going to have to still clean this myself, obviously. Look at this. I don't know what exactly it is that they think they clean, but yeah, I gotta clean this out. I gotta clean this out. I guess that's what I'll use the brush for. So yeah, not thoroughly impressed by that shit. So let me clean it. Okay, so I was about to clean it. Then I remembered that I want to make some apple juice. So I'll do that first. <laughs> Child. 
I'm making a video. Oh. That's what you're saying. Mm. That's so good. Look at this. So, definitely lots to be strained out if you don't want that extra. So, this kind of makes me like, what the freak? my cup while this strains y'all see it not happy about this but overall for an 80 buck juicer it's not bad but I could have went with a $40 one to be honest if they had one I don't think they had one so let me stop my griping Okay, so I'm not going to press this because I don't want any pulp. Um, let me see how much is left now when I pour it into my cup. Much cleaner. Definitely worth the straining for a much cleaner product. Nice. It's less, obviously, because it's not all the crap on it, but yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to strain the apple juice. strain it all while I get a glass to put it in okay so it's a good amount of ugh left in this cup and you know I ain't feeling it so I need the strainer I'm gonna put it right here I'm gonna pour my apple juice into a glass because this is for my husband and my kids and there's no need to put it in a jar Does anybody know how many apples that was I juice? I'm not sure. But I know I'm going to add some carrot juice to it. Boom. Delicious. Now I got to clean all this crap up. I hope y'all enjoyed the review. So, in conclusion, I would like to say this juicer, if you're expecting it to clean itself don't expect that because it's unrealistic even though it says that it cleans itself i didn't see that happen you saw the video i still have to go clean this thing right now so be prepared for that even though it says on the freaking box self let's see where is it at? self cleaning juicer i can point to that Uh, okay, I can't point to it. I'm tripping. Okay, self cleaning juicer plus, please. You should know when it says as seen on TV, it's probably a lie. Okay, so I have to clean it myself. Um, yeah, self cleaning, clean it yourself. It did produce a good amount of juice, I think, but it obviously needs to be strained unless you want all this extra gunk in your juice, which. If I wanted that, I would eat applesauce. Um, so, yeah. There's my review. It's alright for 80 bucks. This is all the gunk left in my sink from the straining. And this isn't even all of it. I've already rinsed some down the drain.